Hey everyone, my name is Notlad and welcome to the Cursed Forest. You're joining me in the woods. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyways, uh, this game, I don't remember where I got this, or if it's a big game, or small game. I think it, I know it's a horror game <laughs> of some sort, but um, I, I can't remember anything about why I got this, where I got this, and I don't know. Um, but apparently this game does have a few bugs to it. Um, that is one thing I wanted to mention just going in. Uh, they, they did mention that, so, um, I just want to let you know. Uh, Gamepad is kind of supported with this, kind of. I guess it just doesn't work too well, so. Anyways, we're gonna go into a new game. Section 1, I guess. And we'll see how this goes. <gasps> it's a scary telephone! Ah! <laughs> Can't jump scare me like that, you know? <laughs> Telephones are scary, man. Okay. Is that my family? It's a scary scribbled note. Ah, it's a car. <laughs> Ghost car. <laughs> Just kidding. A long road trip is so terrifying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, it's probably not the scary part yet. It's just... Oh, man. I'm just excited, that's all. What a dignified gentleman I am. Okay. So I'm I'm journeying off to the woods. Well, it actually looks like I'm journeying to the city, but... He's B... I can read that. That's a spooky crow. <laughs> I'm sorry, can't help it. Into the woods we go. Is this gonna be like a DiCaprio situation where we're, it's just like us against a bear or something? That'd be great. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. That'd be that'd be fantastic. What a spooky violin. It actually, is a little spooky. What was that? Yo. Oh. You ain't so spooky! <laughs> oh, then I swerved to avoid him. Oh no. Just the sweet little girl with her black robe in the woods. You can see she had a cute teddy bear. Oh, look at that. That's, uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember you being in here. It's a ghost! Spooky. Very spooky indeed. Ooh, that's... Eh, I don't know. I've seen that in Fast and Furious, but I don't think that ever goes well in real life. The Cursed Forest. Let's go. Well, this looks really good so far. I actually really like this. I'm just excited to see what mechanics it has at play. It did say that it may lag out a little bit if you turn too fast. That's just how it is, I guess. Uh, but the, apparently my system can handle it better than others. Uh, being that uh, it doesn't run well on Intel graphics cards for some reason. Or a processor, sorry. <laughs> it doesn't r run well on Intel. Um, but I have an AMD system, so... Um, ha! Take that, Intel! <laughs> so, I guess that's it. I need to get I need to get in playing stance here. <laughs> it's not a stance, but that's what I call it. Ah yes. My eyes seem very I don't think my neck is supposed to bend this way. Uh, that is perfectly normal. Just in case you didn't know. Wow, the graphics look really good in this. It's beautiful, my man. Ah. A beautiful nature hike, I love it. In the woods. By myself. Just the rocks by my side, and the crows to to steer my path. What lovely rocks. Do they have writing on it? They do. I don't think I like that. That's... <laughs> I don't like how I woke up surrounded by these things. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Let's go. Wow, I really can sprint. I like it. I doubt there's anything for me to see in the beginning. What? What was that? Ringing in my ears? 
cricket by my side. <laughs> All right. Game. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Fire bad. Don't stand in fire. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known, you know, but I didn't. Is that, a, is that gasoline? <laughs> Toss on fire. Fire go. F don't actually do that. Please don't. That's incredibly dangerous and reckless. Don't do it. This looks like amnesia. Like an amnesia custom game. It really does. Ooh. X or F to use? I will do F because I'm on I'm on keyboard. Hi, text. Uh, why would I want to do that? Uh, I was scared to stay out in the open. I have a feeling that someone is watching me right from the trees. The way through the cliff seems like a good idea. It should allow me to get out here faster and stay unnoticed. When I tried to traverse the cliff, one of the stones fell on my leg. It's like this place itself won't let me leave. My leg isn't damaged, but the stone has pinned my leg pretty badly. I have to free my leg before something else falls. Buried alive. Oof. So this is a note from someone else. This isn't just like... Wait, what? Notes in menu? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. These aren't like notes I'm writing myself because I'm not pinned. I mean, that didn't... I don't think that happened to me, so... But I did have a nasty gash on my leg, so it made me wonder. Okay. So I don't mind me wandering all about. I just... I don't know where I'm going. Probably that way. But I'm up here now. This is where I am. Can I jump off the cliff? Ooh, that's a spooky looking bridge right there. Don't mind if I sure, but hang on. This looks like secret. No, it's not secret. I investigated it thoroughly, and I say there is no secret. All right, let me go down. Some spooky crows in the distance. <laughs> Just spooking up the place. I like it. I like it. I want to try to keep moving somewhat fast. I notice when I play a game, I usually like take my time to search the environment like there's secrets around, but unless it's a really big game, usually that's not the case. Uh, let's see. Alter's Mystery. Ever since I started researching and writing about abandoned places, there's always been one in particular that I've wanted to visit. I've heard many stories about the place, everything from cars mysteriously breaking down as they try to pass through, to travelers venturing into the forest, never to be seen again. Uh, then there's the tales about settlement itself. The people that live here, or live there, were building a railroad until one day they all disappeared without a trace. The incident has almost been forgotten now, discarded as an urban legend, a ghost story to keep children from st straying too far into the woods. Now I have the opportunity to finally visit the area, and who knows, maybe I'll even solve the... Why? Why the noise? Why the ringing in my ears? And like that, you're gone? Okay. Um, I keep children from straying in the woods. Now I have the opportunity to finally visit the area, and who knows, maybe I'll even solve the mystery of what happened there. When I first entered the settlement, I couldn't believe how many things had been left behind. Whole homes abandoned, with all the family's belongings still inside. I find it hard to believe that these people would have left all their worldly possessions of, of their own free will. I feel as if I... I feel as if every step I take leads me closer to discovering the truth. Still, no matter how exciting I find my discoveries, I feel uneasy in this place, as if I'm being watched. Okay, there's more though. This one got a little more sporadic in the writing. Um, on the outskirts of the settlement's territory, I have made an incredible find, a set of altars. They look older than anything in the village, as though they were here long before the settlers were. Out of curiosity, I lit one of them, and as I did, the ground began to shake, almost as though there had been a small earthquake. I'm sure it was nothing more than a coincidence, but still, standing in the light of the altar, I felt relief as if I were safe from the terrible presence that had been following me. I think the altars could be an important clue as to what happened here all those years ago. I will have to do more research tomorrow. Interesting. I was gonna say, there are actually, there is a village. Oh, is it actually getting darker? 
Or is that just my- I think that's just- just how it is. Okay. Um, F to light, I guess. Oh, and that's my save. Ah, cool. That's actually pretty dope. And the lights up. Cool. Um, so... There is actually, like, a village, and I can't remember where it's located, but the houses with all their belongings are abandoned and everything. And I guess there was, like, dangerous... Okay, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't look safe. Um, but they abandon everything, uh, all the belongings, all that stuff. Can I jump? <gasps> I can jump. I think jumping would be right. I no, ah, don't jump off though. <laughs> I nailed it. I totally nailed it. I don't, was I supposed to fall? Yeah, the bridge technically gave out, but I was smart. <laughs> Outsmarted the game. Is this the secret lever? A crank? No. Um, anyway, so yeah, the, the houses were completely abandoned because there was, like, a dangerous leakage of something. I, I want to say it was, like, something radioactive. Um, but, yeah, I just heard about it. It was really cool. I don't like that. Running! No, I'm running. I don't want any rocks to fall on me. This feels like the wrong thing for me to do, to be going down. Wow, I like that. Did you see that little chromatic, or not chromatic, the, uh... Uh, the flare, the, uh, ah, what's it called? <laughs> I, I can't remember. I use a, in my videos, um, and stuff. Ew. Ugh, Gushi. Ah! This is very well done. What? What? Who? Where? What? Lens flare, that's it, sorry. Is that a frog? Is that... Why the sound? I see there's a house coming up. You know what? I'm just gonna run it. You know? Reckless Abandon has never steered me wrong before in the past, so you know. Ooh. What lovely picture you've drawn! <laughs> uh, okay. Angry Fish. The Killer Rabbit. <laughs> uh, Angry B Buck. Um, <laughs> Person in Window. Me looking at sign. Angry face and something. Man with knife. Woman with happy face. Hearts. <laughs> I like the hearts. All right. Does that mean when I turn around, there's gonna be uh, it's gonna be somebody in the window watching me? Is there? No. <laughs> I guess not. No. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Can I take the light? No. F won't let me take that. Okay. I guess that's it. Cool. You know, this is kind of reminded me of the beast inside. The beast in could work on the sound design too, by the way. Sounds great. Crows actually sound real to me. Oh. Um, anyways, yeah, the beast inside uh was much with this style of graphics, textures, all of this. Um Why'd you creak? There's no door. <laughs> There's no door there. <gasps> Is that a carrot? Oh my gosh, my favorite snack. Why did I? Why do I have a carrot? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I for inventory. Delicacy, but not for you. <laughs> Shucks. Ah, oh, man. It's my favorite snack, my dude. I love a good carrot. I actually did love car carrots growing up. That was kind of a thing. The ones in Guatemala are super sweet, though. Uh, let's see. Suspicious. Uh, suspicion, sorry. There was a strange atmosphere in the settlement today. The people seemed more subdued and silent than usual, although it could have been a projection of my own foreboding. Sarah's uh, predicament uh, plays on my mind, so much so that out of the corner of my eye I could swear I saw her sitting in my room, but when I looked, of course, she was not there. I will need to approach her father about his attitude towards her. He is a harsh leader and no different in his parenting. While the villagers seem enraptured by his vision, I am less convinced and find it hard to trust his word as certainly as the others. Although the streets were quiet today, in the night they seem to have come alive. When I left my house to inquire... When I left, oh yeah, when I left my house to inquire as to the commotion, the noise faded into nothingness, as though it had never existed in the first place. Tomorrow I will have to be braver and speak to Sarah's father, then perhaps the feeling of an ease will have me 
and the inexplicable things that have been happening here will show themselves to be nothing but a fracture of my own nervous mind. I don't know about that, but here's the hope, my dude. Somebody in the bed. It's a nice bed. Can I sleep in the bed? <laughs> I want to take a nap. Money! Okay, I heard strange laughing. Money, money, money! Why can't I take the money? It's glowing. Come on, glowing money is my favorite. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. <gasps> what? Why? Uh, okay. That's not very nice. We don't do those kind of things around here. I saw glowing and I'm not sure why. Oh, is it the light shining through the wood? Huh, sure it is. Okay. Well, that wasn't very friendly of you. I appreciate you not doing that. <gasps> is that another fire? Another place I can burn myself. I'm not going to do that this time, actually. If I can help it. Angry fish? I heard about. Ah, ooh, it got deep all of a sudden. Ah, I don't like it. Get me out of here. Ah. <laughs> Jeez, I just sank down all of a sudden. I didn't like that. I don't, I don't think there's a reason for me to go there, so I guess I, I shouldn't bother with that. Okay. Let me just, uh... Let me just check the shed, and then we'll get headed off on the other path that's there. There's actually more than one, though, so I don't really know. Can I remove this? Okay. Also, oh, is the carrot for the killer rabbit? Probably. I've heard so much about him. What's a lovely scarecrow? Hi, buddy. Please don't come alive. I'm not gonna like that if you do. <laughs> That actually would be kind of cool. Oh, that would be a cool concept for a game, actually. To have a scarecrow that comes alive. Okay, you're still there, which is good. Guess I'm glad about that. That is the most angriest sounding chipmunk I've ever heard in my life. And yes, that's the sound of a chipmunk. What is this? Is this a bun burrow? Is this the bear from DiCaprio? <laughs> um... Fluffy friend. Okay, we're on the right path. My father never liked my frequent trips into the forest. As a deterrent, he used to tell me tales of feral wolves that roamed around the trees, hunting in packs and ripping apart any animal or human they encountered. To this day, I believe that the wolves were nothing more than stories told by an overbearing parent because I never saw, heard, or sensed their presence. I think that's because the forest has always been a beautiful and peaceful place to me. Exactly the way I imagined it from my books. Not the dangerous place I was told existed beyond the tree line. Every step I take deeper into the forest highlights its beauty. The sweet smelling flowers, the harmony of singing birds, the, the squirrels that jump skittish, skittishly from one tree to another, and even the insects that find their haven amongst the varied plants. One particularly sunny day, I was walking in the forest when I heard a noise from the bushes. It was not the rustling of wind or leaves, but of something lurking in the undergrowth. My mind, though normally calm amongst the trees, immediately jumped to the thought of wolves, waiting to pounce. I took a cautious step back, as though it had suddenly seen its chance to escape. A rabbit jumped from the underbrush and bolted for its hole. Um, the next day, I returned with a carrot for the rabbit and placed it in front of its home. Within 30 minutes, it reappeared, sniffing the food cautiously and allowing me to get a better look at it. The coat was a shining silvery gray, and around its right eye was a perfectly circular patch of black fur. Within two weeks, it was eating out of my hand. The rabbit's bravery was short-lived. Its comfort in the presence of humans made it eat an an easy target for the settler, settlement hunters. Sometimes I think animals deserve more sympathy than humans. Kind of true sometimes, you know? All right, cool. Uh, all right, well, I got what I need, and I guess I said it right here. Oh, lovely, it's just sketched out and everything. I'm gonna back up, you know? Oh, didn't like that. <laughs> Wow, what hungry rabbit you must be. Oh, what lovely eyes you have there, sir. I... Oh, <laughs> thanks, I think. <laughs> it, it is the killer rabbit, so you know, I guess, I guess this is to be expected. Awesome. One of six. 
Oh, I'm collecting a whole skeleton, ain't I? Well, there's plenty of bones. Okay. Thanks, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go this way. This seems to be a trail here. You know, I feel good about what just happened. Oh, is this another safe spot? Oh, sick. Don't mind if I sure. Hey, bleh. Uh, empty, thank you. There we go. Okay. Where am I going? Does this take me back? Is there a scarecrow over here? <gasps> the scarecrow's gone! Oh no. Oh, I, I had, I just had to say it, man. I had to mention it. Okay, but let's go this way, I guess. Alright. Just, just, just skipping through the woods. Tra la la la. Huh. Sounds like a lovely moose or buck. I think it's our scary buck, is it not? Oh. The moans of excitement. <laughs> That's what I choose to believe they are. Ah, oh, no. Hi. Is that you, Mr. Scarecrow? Or is that my lovely buck friend? Okay. Oh, there he runs. Hey. This is a little hard to see you at long distance, but you know. Don't mind me wandering through your forest. Let me see where you came from. I like to know where one originates from, you know? Oh, lovely. What's this? Is that owl drawing? Nine and three quarters. Awesome. <laughs> it's my favorite measurement. Did you not know? Can I crouch? It's crouching a thing. <gasps> I can crouch. Well, hot diggity. Hot diggity dog. There's another... Sa so let me not do this just yet. Um... Can't run when I'm crouched. I guess that makes sense. Let me go find my, uh... Let me go find my friend. Because I feel like that's the right thing to do right now. Is there a gap there? I do not trust this. Okay. But we're alright. I... I might. Um... I think I just keep going this way. M for map... No. Huh. It is beautiful in its own right, though. The way that they made this game. Is that a shadowy figure in the distance? I look forward to meeting you. Smuggler Cave Secrets. Yan told me that there is a cave hidden in the forest where many years ago thieves from the city hid precious counterband. When they were caught, the cave was searched and the valuable items were confiscated and uh, I saw that was a leaf. And <laughs> there's a there's these puffs of smoke or like leaves or something on the uh, that are ha passing past my camera. I thought it was something moving. Uh uh, okay, so items were confiscated and removed. As I knew a few interesting stories about this area, I pestered Yan for every detail he knew. We searched for the cave for weeks with only a vague idea as to its location. Eventually, on one of our many rambles in the forest, I found it, exactly as it had been described. The boulders flanking either side of the entrance, the hanging ivy uh, partially obscuring the hole in the rock face the fallen log perched precariously above it i wanted to go inside but the daylight only penetrated a few feet into its depths i had had the lo illogical thought that maybe something precious had been left behind in there jewels that had fallen into a crack in the floor and gone unnoticed money at that that had been hidden extra securely amongst the st st stalagmites and had not been found gold pieces buried under thin layers of dirt in the floor. Um, Yan convinced me not to go in. The ground was slippery and uneven, and without a light to guide our way, we couldn't get lost in the branching tunnel. Uh, I never returned to explore. I think that's for the best. If I'd had, if I'd had ever entered the cave, it would have been empty and only filled with my disappointment. Since I never went back, in my mind it remains an untouched cavern filled with riches. A room of lost glittering treasure and precious memory. Cool. Well, that would be really cool. I mean, to, re in to like find that in real life would be really sick. 
Um, there it is. Should I ever write my saves? I don't know what I'm making more necessarily, but is that, that's it? Okay, is that all that's here? Well, it kind of makes me wonder why that other one was back, but eh, I, I think I'm going to commit to going this way. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to mind that. I'm sure it's fine. Well, I like these sounds. Can I? I can't. I can't make that though. <gasps> but I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Maybe. Okay. Ah! Oh no! No! Ah! Oh shucks! Oh snap! Oh wait, hang on. Oh, this was supposed to happen. Oh, sneaky sneaky! Oh, that's cool. I was worried I kind of broke the game there. I really thought. Okay. Love all that. All that is glowing. Okay, I'm gonna start moving fast again. I think it'll be fine. Well, this game is pretty stable, to be honest with you. I they they were telling me that be weary of like. Uh, game breaks and stuff and lag when moving like this, but it's looking great. Oh, that was a leaf. I was wondering what that was. I saw something in my... Oh, that, that was scary for a second. For just a split second. Super terrifying. I mean, there's not a cave there, right? Okay. I think we're fine. I'm trying my best to stay on the path, but sometimes it looks like there could be a path going other ways and stuff, but... Ah, the ghosts seem to be assisting me. I preach, I think. I can't see right now. Okay, it looks like we're okay. Let's go. <gasps> oh, it's just another bone. <laughs> okay. Uh, F, sorry, not E. Awesome. This makes me happy. There. Nothing else to see here. That's just it. Okay. Well then, can I, there we go, and then, okay, <laughs> nice, now I'm a pro at this, it's what I am, it's what I do, you know, okay, let me go back, we're gonna go to that other area where the say, hey, come, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, come, come back, Gosh, I, I couldn't tell if you were a lady or a dude, but if you were a lovely lady, come back. If you were a dude, I'm... Sup. <laughs> Sup, bro. Um, okay. I, I'm going to go back this way. And I'm going to go to that other cave area that I saw. We're going to crawl through here and just see what is on the other side. There we go. Is that a squirrel? <laughs> Sounds like a squirrel. I actually don't know if that's a squirrel. Could be a frog, actually. Maybe that's a frog. A foom! I'm gonna actually just gonna overwrite my save. I don't know why I'm making new ones. Was oh, that all this is? Just a save? Ooh, what's this? Question mark. Okay. I'm not following. I'm sorry. I don't know what those secrets are supposed to mean for me. Oh, hi. Looks like you got a little stuck there at the side. What? What? Why? Why the breath? That seemed a little delayed. <laughs> Was that supposed to be at, uh, that thing that just happened, or? Is that a cave? Hang on. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, this game really likes to do its jump scares, I'm just gonna say. Oh, actually, hang on. Who's be laughing? Who's laughing, huh? Who laughing in the woods? These all go to the same area, don't they? Yeah, it's just kind of circle, okay. Whoa, there he is. Where are you going, my friend? 
I'm coming to get ya. I'm coming for ya. Where's my old Bucky friend? Good old Bucky boy. Sounds like somebody's lighting off some, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> some firecrackers. Um, deer. <laughs> While I was out, uh, walking in the forest, I came across the magnificent deer. His altar were so big, or his antlers, sorry. His antlers were so big that with his head bowed, I took them for a fallen tree, tree limbs. If only I had brought my gun, he would have made an excellent trophy, but tomorrow I will return to the same place in search of him. Mr. Deer, did he get his revenge on thy man, sir? Well, I don't think I'm making that. I'm just saying. Alright, but it looks like I could go this way, so, you know? Cool. Alright, let's speed this up. I got places to be. People to see, you know? So, you know, I, I can't waste no time. Nine and three quarters. Again, nine and three quarters. I get it. Well, actually, I don't get why that is. Oh, is that just that? That just brings me out. Home sweet home. Not Alabama, but you know. Just home of the sweet homes. Whoops, sorry, there's a fence thing there. Can I go in the cellar? No. Why? Oh, there is a door. I didn't even notice. Oh! <laughs> Hi! Wow, uh, so this is your place. I'm sorry, I took your, I took your lunch. I'm so sorry, my man. <gasps> don't! How about you don't? Huh? How about no? Can I have that knife? I don't like you having it. Who? What? Why? Don't move. <laughs> Please don't move. I'm on the chair now. <laughs> Don't mind me climbing on your furniture. You lit a nice fire. I appreciate that. All right. Well, sorry I didn't mean to intrude. You have a lovely evening, sir. Okay. Well. I think I am going to go, um... It Was this a way? I think this is, might be a route for me, so let me go this way. Let me try not to sink too deep into the water, but... Because we have a fish, I'm supposed to see. Can I actually go this way? Wait. No, no, it's not. Not anything, okay. Isn't this where I came from, though? Okay, let me check the little map thing and see where else I need to go, because it is technically a map. Okay, so from the cabin... We've already been to those. So this is on the bat. No, this is where I am. So... Technically, if I go... Okay. So, but... No, this is one of the ways I already went, wasn't it? But if this is directions is correct, this is one way I need to go to get to the fish. Okay, I haven't been this way. I couldn't tell. Pesky mosquito. I hate those the most. Alright. Path goes off that one. What? Oh, there's a frog. Hey! There he went. Alright, froggy friend. Have a good one. No, I'm sorry, I walked a little far. <laughs> I overstepped. Alright. Monster in the lake. It's called a fish. <laughs> when I was younger, an older boy told me a story about a creature that lived in the lake. He swore that while out walking, he had looked towards the distant shoreline and saw a red glow softly radiating from within the water. The boy took off his shoes and cautiously waded inwards to get a better view but as he got closer it rapidly started toward him okay uh startled he backed out of the water to the safety of land emerging from the spot he had just occupied the boy glimpsed bright red scales a shark-like jaw and rows of ragged sharp teeth after having 
re-encountered his tail, I told the boy that I didn't believe him, that nothing so monstrous could be in creation. You'd be surprised. In response, he retrieved from his bag an old book. Flipping to... Uh, flipping to a well-thumbed page that showed a hand-drawn picture of grotesque-looking catfish. It was not the creature he had seen, but proof that nature could be more hideous than anything I'd ever imagined before. It is true, there's a lot of scary stuff in the ocean. I went home in tears, and my father berated me for believing in such foolish make-believe stories. Even now, although I know it cannot be true, some part of me believes that such a creature exists, perhaps hiding in a cave deep below the water's surface. Sometimes it haunts my dreams. In them, I am the boy swimming out in the lake. I see it beneath me, coming towards me, but I am powerless to move. When it grabs my leg in its jaws and drags me into the depths, I feel no pain, only the sense of relief that comes from succumbing to the inevitable. It's strange. You'd think that I would stay away from the lake, but more than ever, I find myself drawn there, hoping to catch a glimpse of glimpse of the mysterious creature from my nightmares that's kind of funny how that is but that's very true amongst us it's like the the horrifying and mysterious fascinates us like i find that for like horror games that i play i want to see the creature i want to see what somebody came up with and what it looks like and stuff that curiosity just stays with you and it's just interesting how that is uh, okay, well, I feel good about checking out what's in the lake now. <laughs> My curiosity is piqued. Shall I jump in? Is it deep? Will I make it if I do? I'm worried. Um, <laughs> I'm actually kind of worried. Let me go this way first. I like how gooshy it do be. Very much goosh. A lot of goosh. Okay. I seem to be fine. <laughs> I seem to be alright. Oh, lovely. Is that is that some hips? Some lovely hip bones? Oh, there you are. Huh. Well then. I am assuming going back the way I came from might not be the wisest of choices, but... I'm gonna... Jump! Run! Faster, 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 faster! Okay. I guess we're fine. I guess maybe maybe he wasn't actually chasing me. Okay. Well, we did that. We got more bones. Let's go. I feel good about this. Hiya. Can I go get a look at you? Can I say hello? No? Nothing? Okay. Well... That's another bone, I guess, so we're all- we seem to be okay. Can I- can I light this again to save, or- oh, I can. I mean, since I did it, I might as well save, I guess. Eh, let's just make a new save. I'll start overwriting him later. Wait, did I not see this? Oh. Were you not here before? Pretty sure I would've missed it. Is that Russian? Go to the house. If you say so. I'll listen to you, strange note. <laughs> is this this a note from my good old scarecrow pal in the house there? Sal the scarecrow? I don't know. What what should I call you? I'm here. Why am I here? What's the point? I knew you were here, but why? Whoop! Oh. Um. I'm going! I'm out. Okay. What happened? <laughs> Hi? Somebody snoring? <laughs> taking a good nap? Am I taking the nap? I might have blacked out. Okay. Uh huh. Oh yeah, a pounding headache. I I know it well. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> that's not so good. That I don't know as well. But ow. Oh, wait. I'm actually. 
What lovely legs I have. I am somewhere. Not over the rainbow. Ha 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 ha! I missed the joke! Alright. I'm charging into danger. Reckless abandon, my dude. You guys are worshipping a dead person. Alright. Somebody in a coffin, I guess? I don't know. Somebody taking a nap? <laughs> Worship the napping? Okay, I don't want to go down there. With a lovely lit path. Are those glowing rocks? No, they're just reflections. Okay. There's that again. I don't really know about that. There's those firecrackers again. Somebody's having a party, man. That's all I'm saying. Hey, it's one of the bones I need, I think. Looks like a leg. I like the run in this game. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. Ouch. <laughs> that hit me right in the noggin. Um, But yeah, unlike other games, the running actually feels pretty good. I'm used to the running being slower. It's like a slow run, and I don't care for that. But almost every game has that, and but this actually feels fairly decent. Feels like you're actually moving kind of fast. Ah, uh, gotta go fast. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, looks like you were worshipping a demon, and he, he sliced you all up. Diced you into many pieces. That's not... Yeah, that's that's no good, my man. Well, it's no going back, I guess. What? 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 I can't move. What's happening? What? Um. Uh. Oh. Cool. Still can't move. No. What? What are the? Hi. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Oh, okay. Is that... Is that end of chapter one? I, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> um... I'm sorry. I, I should be taking, like, jump scares and the horror aspect and stuff more seriously. But I, as I've mentioned before, I horror doesn't really get me that much. Uh, there are certain jump scares that can really get me if it's, like, incredibly unexpected. Otherwise, horror doesn't normally scare me. I'm not a very frightened person when it comes to horror. Oh. <laughs> But in rare occasions, I can be kind of startled. Rare occasions. <laughs> that was more funny than uh, scary, to be honest. Um, I don't. I just found it that way. I don't. I don't know about you guys. All right, I'm ready. Now I'm hungry. Ah uh, yes, lovely cave drawing. I think. No. What is that? What am I looking at? Oh, is this a tunnel? Oh, what the heck? Wow, what? What? Oh, are you coming towards me? Ah, I'm going into the light. They usually say don't do this, but you know. Actually, what happens if I get caught by you? What are you? Hi. I just wanted to see. Okay. I'm sorry. I was. I thought I would die from that, but apparently I was wrong. Am I following a shadow? What? What the heck are you? Oh, oh, well, this seems incredibly unwise. I shouldn't do this. Why would I do this? Oh, I just straight up died. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know that would happen. Okay. Shadow back now. Shadow isn't back. Whoa. Uh, oh, oh, this is where the deer thing was. Oh, interesting. Okay, I know where I am. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to follow the trail. <laughs> Not following the trail is the wrong thing to do. I'm technically on the other side of this now, huh? Oh, it brings me to that air the cave area. No. Wait, hang on. Where the heck am I? Yeah, it's the other side of that cave. Or the, the little tunnel area. But there's nothing here, right? I've already been here. I mean, this isn't anything new. They somehow made all the nature sounds sound more terrifying than they actually are supposed to be. <laughs> Either they just deepen the sound or something. Okay. Well, I've already... Maybe I should have saved, though. I mean... Nah, it's, okay. it's fine. Nah, it's okay. I haven't really needed any of my saves, per se. 
Okay. I guess we go back to the cabin. <gasps> well, I can't actually go this way, though, huh? No, I can't. Okay, so I am supposed to go this way for some reason. But I'm not entirely sure... Okay, it's the only way I can go, so... Let me, let me just make this save, I guess. Well, I guess I know how to get out of here anyway, so it's not like a mystery. I already know I can crouch and... Oh no, wait, what? Is this not what I... Hang on a second. What the... Is this not the... Hello? Oh, okay, I guess I'm not going that way, never mind. So, uh, don't fall. Where am I headed? Doubt it's down that. Obviously here. Maybe I just wasn't following the, the path well enough? But doesn't this just take me back? I don't get- oh, okay, I'm, I'm very confused right now. Oh, am I supposed to- I'm sorry, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, up this way. Oh, okay, I didn't see this, okay. Let's go. Up we go. Into the great unknown. What's a magnificent... Sorry. It's <laughs> gonna say magnificent view. Okay. Lovely. Guess we're going this way. Nice jumping point. Oh, is it? I'm, I'm actually diving into the water. Oh, sick. Oh, cool. I like that. Is there a fish? I better hurry. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Oh, no, that's something else. Oh, I could go down. I'm kind of blacking out. I don't like that. Save. Save. I saved. I think. No, not yet. Hang on. Now I'm saved. Okay. What is with my vision? Did I glitch something out when I fell in the water? Oh, yeah, okay. It just glitched. Okay. Good. Well, at least we fixed it. I was kind of... That would really suck if that was like that the whole game. Okay. Heeny, meeny, miny this way, I guess. Lovely. What is this? Ooh, a new map! How about it? Okay. I am here. That's where I came from. Guess I could go to that one first. Stick to the ones close. Okay, so let me not go that way then. Let me go to this one. There's a little bit of screen glitching I'm seeing, so that's that's a bit of a bug, but... Wish I could understand pictures, but I have no idea what that means. Is that my body glitching through me? I'm sorry for the black shapes. I think that's one of the glitches they might have been talking about. It's every time I move forward. Well, that's not pleasant to have on my screen. I am very sorry about the, the glitching. What the? What? Oh, it's you. Hi. Okay, everything is glitching really badly, so I'm probably just gonna just gonna go this way. Later, my dude. What the heck? I gotta go. I gotta go. Gotta go this way. Hang on. Okay. The game is glitching quite a bit. Well, it's it's, it's when I look that way, huh? Oh sure, it's like looking that direction. Something isn't loading properly. 
Well, ah. Oh, that's why. Ah, it fixed it when it that happened. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Hello. What is happening? Was that supposed to happen? Am I hanging? What the heck? I was planning to restart the game, or I was going to end the episode here and then maybe continue it. Um, if in hoping that uh, coming back into it would have fixed the glitch. Ah, hi. You sure do get around, don't you, buddy? All right. Glad I have a friend through all the- hey. <laughs> Hello. So I'm just gonna grab it. Munch munch. This is such a unique game. Such a unique experience with this. Hey friend. Oh, I'd uh, I'd help you out, but I got places to be, I guess, so. <laughs> Would you look at that? What I always wanted. Lovely. Alright. Four of six. All we need is two more. Hello? I'd like to read said note, sir. There you go. Uh, Scarecrow. I have lived here all my life, playing in the fields under the watchful eye of the Scarecrows. My neighbor, an old man whose name I do not recall, used to spend a lot of time in his garden. He was a settler with a violent skin condition that meant most of his life was spent alone and away from the comfort of others. As he sowed his small plot of land, he spoke in hushed tones to his scarecrow, and I began to notice that the other villagers purposely looked away when he did this. One day, passing the old man conversing with the straw one i grew suddenly bold do you believe the scarecrow will speak back i asked it's not wise to say such things little girl a scarecrow cannot talk he smiled darkly however the same cannot be said of what is living inside it it grows stronger every day and as it waits it watches nothing can stop it I suggest that you do not try to stand in its way. His face grew suddenly ashen, and he spoke again to the scarecrow. No, I didn't. She's harmless. She won't tell anyone. Will you? He grew more and more frantic, his hands reaching out to grab me, to beg me to keep a secret that I didn't understand. I ran. The next day, the old man was found dead. His garden quickly started to rot as though the land had been poisoned. Soon after, I contacted, I contracted a dreadful fever. As I lay awake, tossing and turning, I looked out of my window and saw the scarecrow pressed up against the glass. <laughs> I hid under the covers and eventually fell into a restless sleep. When I woke up, he was gone. But from that point on, I have always felt his eyes watching me from the fields. He helps me, fellow, follow everyone. Mr. Strawhead is a very good friend. That's kind of cool. Also scary. <laughs> but cool. At the same time. It's making me think of SCP things, which is interesting to say the least. I guess let me do the second one. I don't know. There's that again. Is it you, the one that they're worshipping? <laughs> Sir Scarecrow? Sir Crow? Mr. Crow? <laughs> Mr. Crow himself? Is there a path this way? Kind of looks like it. I am lost. <laughs> this is not a path, is it? <gasps> ah! Oh, no! Ah! Well, that's not ideal. Was that supposed to happen? I'm kind of thinking a lot of this stuff is supposed to happen. Well, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Okay, so don't veer off path, but where is path? Okay. Well, there's definitely something here. It looks like a... Okay, don't like the- Wow, I double jumped. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Looks like I go this way, maybe? Yeah! Okay, so don't- <gasps> oh, the... Ah! No! Shucks! Ah! <laughs> I knew I didn't jump that one right. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Okay, so anytime I touch it, that's just death. Alright. Reckless Abandon! hi ha hi ha don't gobble gobble like that. Hi-ya! Okay. 
Extra hiya! I thought I went too far. Ah, you don't need to be doing that. And, uh. Uh, hiya! And, uh, hiya! You can only get a satisfying jump if you hiya. Hiya! Okay. Hey, is this the picture of that tree from the intro screen? Oh, cool. I, I'm not sure, actually, but... Hiya! Hiya! Extra hiya! With mayonnaise on top. Is this still... I should still be careful. I can't really tell, but I think we're okay now. Okay, so far so good. Let's go. Ah, glad to be out of there. Oh, I get it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh. Okay, let's save again. Uh, don't mind if I sure. How about number three? Preach. Oh, thank you much. Okay, so we did that one. We got another bone. Uh, now I can go this way, I guess. I can't sprint. Or am I? No, I am kind of sprinting. Okay. Let me go this one first. Oh, hi. It's you again. I'm gonna get ya. Oh, that's angry girl. I liked when you were smiling. Okay. Thanks for that, I guess. I, I would love to play through this whole game in one sitting, but I'm not sure if I should actually make this into a separate episode. We're already kind of coming on to an hour with this. I could try to complete the whole thing in one sitting, but I don't know how big this game is. I really don't. So maybe I might have to break it into two parts. Um, maybe. I'm not sure yet. What a lovely house you have here. I'm just gonna go up here. No? Okay, never mind. I didn't want to go up anyways. Mr. Scarecrow, is this your place too? Alright. Huh, that's some weird looking soup. I've heard of rock soup, but this is ridiculous. Oh. Um. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'll go. <laughs> I guess. Or no, maybe I'll just stay. Maybe, maybe I'll just like, not bother with that. I see a lovely note. Uh, runestone. I can't believe my luck. I found the runestone. It's v the very last element needed for the ritual, and as a reward, our glorious leader thanked me personally and made me its keeper. In his wisdom and kindness, he also gave me a small house near the lake, which is much more pleasant than any than my previous home. Soon we will wash this land of sin, while the weak will seek redemption in death and the promise of a different perfect world, we are fighting to make our earthly realm the ha that heaven. With our help, the people here will become perfect specimens of humanity, unspoiled ent entities cleansed of depravity. The sea takes a shard of jagged glass and washes it smooth, so too shall we shape this world into one of our own creation." And I will be among the chosen forging the way. Um, change is coming and I shall be the one of the leading architects of the future. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> uh, that's something I definitely want to hear about. Ooh, what a lovely book. Didn't know you had books back then. So this is a Russian-made game originally. It's just uh, it's translated in English, apparently. That's really cool. I love how there's leaves just flying in the wind in here. Can I now go up or no? Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, how lovely. Hey, what's up? We've, we've met before. I don't like that. I don't want any of that. Your tendrils could stay over there. No, oh, you've locked the doors. Hang on, let's use some zombie techniques. You're gonna come this way. You're, hey, you're being sneaky. Don't be sneaky. No, stop it. Stop. Stop. Oh, dear. What? What? Uh, F? F? F for the key? F, I'm out of here, baby! 
Dumb out! Oof. <laughs> that was unexpected. But I did it. Ha ha ha! Outsmarted by the human! Let's go. Let's go. Alright, cool. I got a key. I got a rune. Life is good, <laughs> I think. Um, I'm not supposed to go in the water, right? I mean, I, I, I probably could, but... I'm not really sure why I would do that. Okay, let's just go the other route, I guess, or one of these routes. There's many routes I could go, I guess. Oh, there's another note. How I love to hear your stories. About Yan. Our leader asked me not to touch him. He said that making him disappear would evoke unwanted attention, but all Yan has brought to our settlement so far is trouble. I remember when he first came to us. He used to make trips into the city, which wasn't normal to any of us. Our settlers don't need people like him, but out of kindness, we gave him a chance. I tried to invite him to my house for a supper cooked by my wife. I thought that by meeting him eye to eye, we would get to know him better. And with an acquaintance, he would become better accustomed to our lifestyle. He refused my invitation. Then I invited him hunting. Even this he criticized, telling stupid stories about his past and how he had decided never to take the life of an animal for, the, for sport. My dislike for him grows by the day. <laughs> I wasn't fooled for a moment by his innocent facet uh yan came to us pretending to be a saint but everyone has their sins soon he will learn that the past never truly stays in the past when we are together he attempts to turn the conversation towards our leader trying to steal information out of me about his family uh it's unnerves me it unnerves me. Uh, he may be untouched for the moment, but that will very quickly change once we have completed the ritual. Then the sinners will get what they deserve. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, big yik on that one. Uh, <laughs> don't like that. Um, okay. I'm going to try to get to another save spot, and as soon as we do, I'm going to save and we'll probably continue this later. Oh, sure. I'll go right in. Is this a porta potty? Nice. Love it. Love that, love you. Alright, time- Whoa, my gosh. Hey, how about you don't? Oh, you are a lovely lady. Hi. Oh, aren't you? Aren't you attractive? <laughs> Except your face. Not so much on the facial features, but, you know. You got them curves. I appreciate. I am down here now. Am I- Am I alright? Am I okay? <laughs> I don't seem okay. I'm blacking out again. Cool. Yeah, this is reminding me so much of the beast inside. Uh, time. I tried hard, but I can't uh, easily escape this place. That's why for now, I've given up attempting to leave. Instead, I'll continue to research and solve the mysteries of what happened here. The shadow of the past covers this land like a suffocating lead blanket woven of pain and suffering. Time here moves uh, cryptically in circles, the past and present merging to show unspeakable horrors. Hidden amongst the trees, you can hear voices of the past calling to you. I think I'm connected, or perhaps tethered, to this place. It won't let me leave. I even can't tell how much time has passed. There is no way to distinguish one hour from another. This forest is sucking the life from me. I need to find the way out of here. Or this place is going to kill me. The madness around me has blended reality and nightmare into one hellish existence. I need to hold on to myself and write down any useful information so I don't miss a thing. I hope that what I find will help the next person trapped here, and he will inform the world about my efforts. I don't want to die nameless. Closed. Okay. Interesting. I don't know who you are. I never got your name. <laughs> so, I guess you did kind of die nameless, maybe. Blue. Oh, very blue. Okay. Let's keep her moving. Got no time to waste. Apparently time is a ticking. Bah, that, that, that was almost my noggin. Don't care for that. Alright, how about you don't do that? I am here now. Wherever here is. Oh, is this back? Oh. Lovely. Will you spook me again? Would you do that? 
Okay. Guess that's that. Um, appreciate that little side journey, but I don't know why. Okay. Makes me glad I stopped then, because otherwise if I would have kept going this way, I would have missed whatever secret that was. Okay, I am going to go in the water, ain't I? It's splish splash. I'm taking, I think, a bath. I'm out of the water. I'm sorry, I'm out. I'm out. That's me going out. <laughs> I'm done. All right, cool. Well, gosh, I mean, what a lovely lady taking a swim out here. I mean, why wouldn't I want to join her? Gosh, that was... Ouch. <laughs> okay, so was that the wrong thing to do? I'm sorry. I, I didn't really have any... I, I don't really know what else I was supposed to do. <laughs> I've already been in there, so I'm not going there again. That's where I came from, right? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, am I supposed to go up this way? Kind of does look like a path, isn't it? Is it? I can't, I can barely tell. Do it, you won't. A splish splush, my lovely lady friend. Go for it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. I want you to do it. Do it. Ha! You suck. And I'm smart. Look at me. I've outsmarted you. Ha! That's one point for me. Zero for the rock. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, how's it how's how's it hanging? What's what's happening? You hang out here often? I'd like to I'd like to be out of the water, thank you. Okay. Are you still there or are we good now? I'm sure it's fine. I'm just gonna Kind of stay up on the rocks a little bit. Am I supposed to use the heartbeat to tell where you're at? Or, uh, what's the story here? Yeah, ha ha. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to stay up on stuff. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ow. Come back. Why don't... Wait. Is that... Is that a bad thing? No. Why don't you come back? I just want to... Just want to give you a hug, lovely lady. Oh, I'm coming to get ya! Oh, I'm... I don't know if I need to go that way further. Okay, let me go this way. Saved, I appreciate. Hi. <laughs> Alright. I see our Scarecrow friend is back, but unfortunately, that is where I'm gonna end this one. I don't want to go too terribly long with uh, an episode, per se. I could probably finish this all in one sitting, but... I don't, I don't actually know how big this game is, so I think I'm going to end this this part here, and then we'll maybe record another episode soon, but... Anyways, if you like this, this is, uh... That guy forgot the name of the game, but if you remember, or just look at the title of the video, it should say. But anyways, I, I completely forgot. Something about forest. I'm in the forest. <laughs> I don't know. It's not the forest, that's a different game, but... Anyways, um, I'm actually kind of enjoying this one. This is actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah... If you guys look forward to the rest, just stay tuned. The next video will be coming. And uh, with that, I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Not Let signing off. Later, guys. <laughs>